NATO's top official, Secretary General Anders Fogh Rasmussen, says it is time for the international community to prepare for a Libya without Muammar Gaddafi. VOA's Laura Bowman reports. With parts of Tripoli still smoldering from NATO's strongest bombardment yet, NATO ministers gathered in Brussels Wednesday. The operation has been running for just over uh, two months, and I can tell you that everyone at the table agreed we have made clear progress. NATO Secretary General Anders Fogh Rasmussen told reporters that the North Atlantic Treaty Organization would extend its campaign against Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi for 90 more days past the end of June, and that the era of a Libya ruled by Mr. Gaddafi is closing. Gaddafi's history, um, it is no longer a question of if he goes, uh, but when he goes, it may take weeks, but it could happen tomorrow. And when he goes, the international community has to be uh, ready. Rasmussen also said that he does not expect NATO to play a lead role in Libya post Gaddafi, and that it will be up to the United Nations to guide that country toward democracy. Meantime, chaos ensues in the rebel stronghold of Misrata, east of Tripoli. Shelling Wednesday by Gaddafi troops left many dead. The wounded streamed into this field hospital. The hospital is receiving casualties every day, and the number of casualties is between 10 and 80 per day. Near Libya's western plateau, groups of women have set up homes inside mountain caves in an effort to escape the violence in their towns and cities. We are still patient despite the siege and the lack of light. Every night we are frightened. We worry that the ceiling might collapse over our heads. Libyan TV broadcast video of Mr. Qaddafi meeting with tribal leaders earlier this week. In an audio address to the nation, he vowed to stay in Tripoli, dead or alive. Laurel Bowman, VOA News, Washington.